trillions will flow into blockchains like Stellar XLM. But the 10 year yield rules it all. And we have absolute proof. There's absolute divergence with the 10 year yield and Stellar XLM. And this again could just be a combination of things you may see on another video that I've done. Why is the Stellar XLM price dropping the delisting of Stellar XLM? What you have to understand is the 10 year yield rules it all. But how? I've covered this many times before. I've done a three part series of the US Treasury, cryptos and stocks and the 10 year yield. But we got to look at what's happening with the 10 year yield. The percentage base points of the 10 year yield is rising as yield prices should be dropping, bonds should be dropping, not yield prices, bonds themselves, premiums should be dropping. We need to check that out and just see exactly what's going on. And if you recall, I did a technical analysis on the 10 year yield and we discovered this head and shoulders pattern. Now this could be a clear indicator as to where the price is going. And what we need to do next and facts that you should understand and know. So, without further ado, let's check out the 10 year yield percentage base points. Over to the charts, Nathan, take it away please. Okay guys, the US 10 year yield government bonds yield rate. So, um, if you saw the previous video, um, I showed you this technical structure, um, this technical pattern, head and shoulders, quite a common pattern that you'll see pretty much all the time, whether that's um, your standard head and shoulders pattern for a bearish situation or um, a reversal head and shoulders for a bullish situation. So that would be inverted and inverted head and shoulders. Today we're looking at this... Um, uh, we're looking at this um, standard head and shoulders for a bearish scenario for the US 10 year yield. And you can see um, we are coming right up to that shoulder. Um, and, you know, it's just immediately sort of reverse. I said, if we break past, um, you know, 3.15%, um, then, you know, we could see potentially we could see that this is a change a reversal now, i say 3.15 percent we're probably looking at a little bit more like let's check this out on the um on the left shoulder we're probably looking a little bit more like um 3.20 percent but we've already formed somewhat of a right shoulder so i want to keep it at around 3.15%. That's gonna invalidate our current structure. And the reason why this is important to understand um, is because really uh, the 10 year yield is is, is running everything. It, it tells us where everything is going. So if we start to see the 10 year yield um, move up a basis, 10 basis points by 10 basis points, which is what we're seeing here. Um, we've seen it since July, um, since July the, this up, um, beginning of August, so August the 2nd, since August the 2nd, we've seen it move up and up, 10 basis points at a time, and really what's happening there is um, the premiums, the bonds are being sold off just rising, raising the raising the rate of um, the, the the yield of bonds. It's increasing the rate of um, the yield of the bonds, and that's having a knock-on effect um, for the dollar. So, if we look at the Dixie, the Dixie um, actually 
rises in value as the yield um, rises. So as bonds get sold off, the dollar gets stronger and stronger. And really, we've seen it come back up to that to that point where it's at around 109, 110, we'll say. But you could see that it clearly couldn't move past there, the dollar. So that's the US dollar basket of currencies against all other currencies like GBP, which would be the basket for that would be the Bixi, um, the US, the um, EU, the Euro, um, and and so on and so on, Japanese yen, that's a basket of currency. So you can see the dollar has found a top. It's the, that, that we could, not yet, not quite yet, but we could be seeing a double top here. All right, which means that we can expect this to retrace back down and fall, which means that actually for this to happen, bonds, US bonds will need to be brought up. Um, and we already heard from the ECB, they have an unlimited amount of value to buy up bonds across Europe. And I don't doubt throughout other nations, US being one of them. So that will devalue the dollar, making things more affordable um, for people across the world. And also with that, you'll find the stock market raising in value. So people will be selling off their bonds to get a better return. Um, from the stock market um, so shifting their money to get better returns from the stock market but that also has the effect that you know 3.7% is not the same as 10% or um, 15% some returns you can get just by you know dividends share dividends holding the asset on the stock market but they're considered to be a lot more riskier however look getting to the point Okay, because I was just straight off the point. Look, we're getting very close to invalidating this head and shoulders. If indeed the trend does continue, you can see the bond yields percentage basis points are on a upwards directory. They have been doing so since um, 2020 when it found a bottom when COVID struck, and we've we've now got this head and shoulders pattern that's formed it could be invalidated we have to keep our eyes on it nathan back over to you okay that's great thanks nathan i'm really have to chuck that one back to you because i want to see the confluence between or at least the divergence between stellar and the 10-year yield so nathan back over to you again okay yes nathan yes i did say i wanted to show you that was confluence i wanted to show you that there was divergence and what do i mean by divergence i mean actually in fact when the 10-year yield rises the um the uh uh digital assets fall in value and as you could see when the 10-year yield was rising the percentage point stellar xlm was starting to fall just here from the 8th to the 15th right we could see that down that downtrend, that down curve, boom, moved down. Not only that, I want to jump to actually, um, I want to jump to the US, the um, XLM USDT, so Teva. And I want to show you, look, we got all of these wicks to the downside, okay? And this is about the time the, the 10 year yield was starting to move. So this could have been a combination of FUD. Um, it could be, I don't know, an API issue. It may not be the fact that um, that uh, XLM is moving down so aggressively, but you could clearly see the difference with USDT pricing and USD pricing. In fact, it's so much so that XLM looks to be in an even deeper downwards directory. But you look at this chart in comparison, okay? Look at this chart in comparison. 
how much deeper that went below five cents. All right, almost touching four cents, if not four cents. Let's check that out right now. Oh, oh, it went actually just to four cents. Look at that. So it's wicked all the way down to four cents. And that was Teva. But when we look at, when we actually look at USD, the dollar, the actual dollar, the fiat currency, not the digital representation, it's a completely different picture. So for the Fudsters, um, I would say that it's only really in relation to USD, USDT, Tether. Um, it could be some sort of API issue. Um, it could be um, because USDC is more prominent um, that we're having th this sort of um, issue or actually it's just being sold more aggressively um, with that USDT pair. Um, and, you know, if you manage to get jump on that, then uh, well done for you. You got that four cents right down there. Well done for you. But yeah, so that I just wanted to show you confluence um, with the 10 year yield. So let's jump back actually to the 10 year yield and just see from remember we said from around the 8th. So let's have a look and see what we got here from the 8th. So actually from the from the third from the third the second of August the 10 year yield started to move up and then from the eighth you could see it continued that directory straight up all the way way past through to September today when it seems to be we printed a red candle should be turning around now anyway again Nathan back to you there's your divergence confluence in divergence and I think we should I'm about 60% confident because we've got this we printed this red candle I want to see another two two red candles before I could be a bit more positive that way we've got another pattern that harami pattern candlestick pattern that tells us that we've got um three black crows which is another indicator that we're moving down the trend has changed the the immediate trend all right nathan back to you great thanks nathan so as you can see the 10-year yield runs it all and we can continue to look at these patterns in fact we will do some more ta to see the confluence in terms of divergence where the two move apart stellar xlm and the 10-year yield and that will affect other digital assets as well but without further ado make sure to keep your digital assets safe keep them on your own get a cold storage wallet ledger treasure down there in the description and make sure to like, subscribe, smash the Zion coin up there. I'm Nathan, aka Nathan of Zion. Make sure to share because sharing is caring. And check out the next video and see you in the next one. Have a great day now. Take care.